It's my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce our next keynote speaker, uh, that is Scott Shankar. Uh, Scott has been in the field of networking almost seems like forever. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> He's a professor at University of California, Berkeley, has done lots of very, very good work, and as a result, uh, has gotten lots of very prestigious awards, SICCOM award, and he's fellow of ACM, IEEE, and all of that, okay? So you can read his bio about that. But today, Scott is going to talk about the wisdom of abstractions and interfaces. So I thought I will uh, use that particular abstractions and interfaces to describe Scott as I see him, okay? <laughs> So here is my interface with Scott, uh, an abstraction. I send him email 11 p.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and a minute later, if the email is worthy of a response, I get it instantaneously, okay, uh, a response. Now, you will say, okay, there are grad students and postdocs that are workaholic. They also work late night. What is the big deal about Scott, okay? Then uh, once in a while, I send him a very poor text, okay? I'm not gifted with writing text and you get a beautiful text back, okay? Then you say, oh, what is the big deal? There are very good editors. There are lots of people who can do that, okay? Then another abstraction or interface is you send him a poor idea, okay? He will turn it into a great idea. And then you wonder whether this was your idea, but because <laughs> the idea is so good, you want to have an ownership of that idea as well, okay? So you continue to do that. Then you think maybe Scott is only driven by stimulus. You send him something, he responds. But that's not really true either. He has generated many, many good ideas, as I said, over the years. He has created, you know, he started work in packet uh, scheduling and so on, led to a lot of work on integrated packet um, switching and all of that in the context of IETF as well, uh, DHT-based distributed systems, uh, data-oriented networking, and then, of course, uh, as you heard, uh, he has been uh, co-advisor uh, of my team and has been participating in OpenFlow and SDN. He contributed to also this whole architecture about SDN, network operating system, and so on. And he's also co-founder of uh, Nisera. So until he did Nisera, he was a great scholar, a great researcher, a great professor, but now he's also an entrepreneur. Okay. So with that, again, it's my great pleasure to introduce Scott, who is going to talk about Something like past of the protocols and future of networking, or future of networking and past of the protocols. Okay, Scott. 